Numbers are astounding. 33 people murdered just this month in Dallas. Now the police department is taking drastic steps. Rebecca Lopez is live in our Dallas newsroom with more tonight. Rebecca. Well, we've learned that the Dallas Police Department is disbanding its cold case unit and sending some of those detectives to the homicide unit. Now, the cold case unit is the unit that investigates all those old cases that are unsolved and some victims families fear their loved ones will be forgotten. Phoebe Payne's brother Clarence Davis, nicknamed Dickie, was murdered three years ago as he walked out the front door of his South Dallas home. His killer hasn't been caught. It needs to be solved and we need somebody to worry about what happened to Clarence because he died for no reason and we just need closure. Payne is upset the department is disbanding the cold case unit. She says they were her only hope in catching Dickie's killer. It's hard because of my, all of my family members, uh, they want closure because Dickie is not resting in his grave. Dallas police are trying to deal with a wave of homicides, 33 so far in the month of May. Currently, there are only 13 homicide detectives who are scrambling from one murder to the next. I just want to know to the chief, like, what are we going to do? Like, we need some type of help in Dallas. WFAA has learned the four cold case detectives were given the choice to go to homicide, patrol, or the assaults unit. Those units are all lacking manpower. I want my kids to be protected. I want to be able to go to the grocery store and feel safe. I want to be able to go run my errands and don't have to worry about somebody robbing me, somebody shooting me. The cold case squad has been credited for solving more than a dozen murders in the last couple of years and taking those killers off the streets. But for now, families like Clarence Davis's may have to wait for justice to be served if they ever get justice at all. Dallas police told us this afternoon that they are not disbanding the unit, that they are restructuring it, which basically means that they're being moved and that the cold cases are going to be investigated by the current homicide detectives. Again, there are only 13 of them, so it's unclear what the department is going to do to add more detectives to that unit. It's kind of like robbing Peter to pay Paul to deal with all the violent crime that is happening in Dallas. There simply aren't enough detectives in robberies, assaults or homicide. Back to you. Our thanks to